Tonight, a follow-up to a frightening scam CBS2 first told you about last night. A Westchester couple targeted by con artists who use social media to learn where they live and track their locations. CBS2's Brian Connie Bear explains how to protect yourself. I'm afraid right. someone's watching us. Right. Carol Ann Martinez and her husband Hector are still shaken by the sophisticated phone scam they got caught in Thursday. How they knew all this information. The Cortland couple says it started with a call from a mystery man who said Carol Ann hit his nephew in the parking lot of the Northern Westchester Hospital Center in Mount Kisco. My sister was having major back surgery. I posted on Facebook that she was that she was okay. The surgery went fine. After that Facebook post, the con artist called Hector's cell phone, demanding money to pay for the accident victim's medical expenses, or they'd keep beating Carol Ann, who they claimed to kidnap. And there was a woman uh, screaming hysterically, Hector, Hector, don't call the police, because if you call the police, then we're going we're gonna to hurt her more. And I was like, I'm going to pay. Hector wired nearly $1,300 from this local Walmart, but then discovered his wife was safe, and the scammers likely used social media and web searches to target them. You have to be proactive in protecting yourself, because Facebook's not going to do it for you, Instagram's not going to do it for you. Cybersecurity expert Paul Oster says most social media users aren't aware of just how much information they make public every day. And if you have your location setting on, they know what time you leave your house, where you stop for coffee, do you go to the gym. Oster recommends you turn off location services that automatically identify your location. Use privacy settings to limit who can see your content. Delay posting photos and videos that show where you are until you get home. And limit personal information on social media, or you too could get caught. With all the information they had on us, they can do this to anybody. And in the past 24 hours, we've been contacted by five other victims targeted by similar scams. Police warn you should never give out personal information to strangers who call, email, or contact you on social media. And having a secret code word that only family members know will help you verify if it's really them if they're ever caught in a dangerous situation. Maurice? Good advice, Brian. Thank you.